Hi, good night. My name is Abina. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Spoken by Abby. And as my first video introduced me as a poet, so I'm a poet and among other things and i'll be doing an intro an official introductory video tonight along with sharing one of my other original pieces of poetry and then i would like to discuss with you the topic don't stick your head in the earth so i'm just leaving yet another word of encouragement for someone who may have lost their way, may have felt discouraged, may have been fearful to do what God told you to do or to live your life regardless of the disappointments. So here goes. My poem is entitled Prison Break. Now as we all know, we have heard that term before. <laughs> um prison break is when you know the prison escape the prison system they escape some of them takes a, a time for the authorities to find them and then eventually some are found some are not and this poem basically is just um it's 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 not literal and it speaks to the person, the mind, the prison of the mind, as most of my poems speak to. Because, you know, as humans and even in this current situation, a lot of us are imprisoned in our minds and we really need to be set free so we can realize our dreams and live in our purpose. So that's what this poem is about so here goes I see a reflection on me bound by shackles of the mind I'm trapped in my own prison placed behind the cold hard bars of life my freedom has been held captive by my doubts the pain is my comfort and I bathe in tears it seems I have no defender to save me from this body of sin my tormentor is me for I refuse to let go I commune with self and find my heart is scared I have allowed the negative to poison my spirit silence has become my companion I hunger for the key to joy, but the darkness seems to fill the space. My cries have gone unheard. My echo of the cold walls and is trapped by my reflection. Free me from the image of my weakness is my inner plea. Desperation is my weapon and faith is my shield. This is my final chance, and I must break the shackles. I can feel a change as my mind becomes renewed. Yes, so that's prison break. So we want to break free of our mental prison. And as we go into the topic that we are going to discuss tonight don't stick your head in the earth so many of us we not literally have stick our head in the earth but like the ostrich with its tendency to hide their heads in the sand whenever they think danger is at hand hoping that the danger will pass them by and they will be left untouched so many of us are like that, we run from our challenges, we um, go into our shells, as Jamaicans say. You, get, you go back into your shell, you retreat into your shell, and you don't do anything about the situation. But I just want to tell someone tonight 
that fear that fear will cripple your potential and I am a testimony of that um, before starting this channel before really getting the courage to share my poetry I've been writing for a really long time but I've been sitting on my talent um, I'm also a teacher slash a tutor and it's only been recent years that I've really sat and thought about it and um, I decided to just forget about the fear because fear it has delayed my progress and I've seen what he's done to me and other persons so that is why I am so inclined to just share these words of encouragement to someone tonight now the Bible says the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of a sound mind now this directly speaks to persons who are actually saved they're baptized full of the Holy Ghost etc they know Jesus so to speak or they know the ways of God so he has not given you a spirit of fear where you run away from your your trouble you will face it headlong because you know you have a hope and you know that the spirit that dwells in you is greater than the opposition outside and it doesn't matter what the haters may say it doesn't matter um, the stumbling blocks what the devil put in your way you are willing and ready to position yourself for God to really use you and to have you take the steps to fulfill his purpose in your life now we must also be mindful that we need to endure hardness so the christian race or life's race is not for whims or persons who are not willing to go through struggles there's never a perfect life no one has it perfect don't let anyone fool you to think their life is perfect what may be wrong with your life may not be what's wrong with the other person's life but they have something that really gets them down in their quiet time they're sad and they may wish that they're in your situation so another thing is that we aren't supposed to look at someone's life and judge and say they're better than me because we all have our, have our, our struggles and we need to pass the hurdles um, a good example is for example persons without limbs recently I've been watching a lot of YouTube channels about persons who have you know some really difficult situations like disabilities losses of limbs and circumstances in life and you know what they make themselves happy so it's all about the mind it's all about freeing the mind and reflecting and stop holding on to the past as my poem said my tormentor is me because I refuse to let go because you refuse to let go of the past and the hurt and allow fear to keep us captive will never accomplish anything and once again I can testify to that if I didn't let go I wouldn't be willing to do this it's still hard I get nervous even before doing this I get I got so nervous but I know I have a work to do, so I have to share this word um, with you. So, um, God has the positive purpose in all of us. But we must understand that when purpose is fully established in Christ, all things are perfected. So, God will perfect the work that he began in you. And this, as I said before, um, this channel does not discriminate against persons who are not Christians but it is a faith based Christian based channel where I lean more towards encouraging Christians but I want to say to my unsaved friends and viewers that there is room for you and I know some persons who are actually unsaved, they don't have Christ in their life, they accomplish a lot. But bear in mind that accomplish a lot 
without Christ at the end of the day it's nothing because you will be tormented and even if you're so successful and the slightest issue in your life comes up you're gonna lose hope because you don't have that foundation of Christ so I would encourage anyone whether saved or unsaved that whatever you're doing put Christ first because regardless because um you know life favors persons who do work hard the Bible says the Word of God says by the sweat of your bow you shall definitely eat bread so if you work hard you will accomplish but all of that is worth nothing if you don't have Christ at the end of the day and some things that a Christian would struggle with when if you struggle with it you're not you're more likely not to come out victorious because you don't have the foundation in Christ so I just like to encourage everyone not to allow fear to cripple your potential you're fearfully and wonderfully made and the Lord favors you he and you were born for a purpose so you didn't just come here you're you're breathing every day because God has a work for you to do don't take it for granted go and take back what the enemy stole from you go and take back your joy live your life don't let anyone despise your youth. young people don't let anyone despise your youth. yes you're gonna listen to the advice of older persons but when you realize that they're trying to um they're trying to beat you down you don't listen to that you trust in the word of god yes you still have respect unto your elderly but believe in who god said you are and know that every, no one is actually perfect but if you're willing to forsake your sins and seek god and live a pleasing life then surely there is nothing too hard for god to do for you um and the last thing i'll say is you know even i always say look at sarah she was so old and abraham he was so old and medically biologically speaking and i'm a biology tutor that is so impossible you say it's so impossible for them to conceive but the god of heaven nothing was impossible for him he allowed them to conceive and from that conception then we have the promise from that conception from that line from abraham's line we were able to get salvation so nothing is impossible for god to do just trust in him keep on praying even though the prayer doesn't seem to work right away just keep on trusting god because he'll make a way and he'll even surprise you i tell you sometimes i'm really ashamed sometimes when i pray and i give up and then i quarrel go back quarreling and then when i look at how god work out the situation i feel so ashamed and i say you know that that really encourages me and remind me that I'm to continue to pray and don't waver in faith because no mountain is too hard for God God to move that mountain in your life I mean God made the world God made good and evil so why not trust him why not trust him so you know that's my word of encouragement to you tonight and I really hope you were blessed and I hope that you look to God the author and finish off our faith the life giver the creator the holy one yes I'm encouraging someone to choose Jesus tonight or to remember where he brought you from and give him another chance to you know change your life and to help you break free of your prison of your mind help you that you don't have to stick your hand your head in the sand and be afraid in jesus name i pray that you're blessed and i look forward to sharing another video with you soon have a great night